Let's talk about some very important things to know about IBS and your period. IBS can affect your period and your period can affect IBS. It's a two-way street. Your period does not cause IBS, but it can make it worse if you're already susceptible and have a weak digestive system. On one side of this equation, even a healthy menstrual cycle can impact IBS. Like everything in the body, there is a connection. On the other hand, the menstrual cycle is one of the key barometers of overall health. Our body is very smart this way. It knows that being pregnant is a major strain on the resources of the body and that everything needs to be functioning at a high level so that a healthy baby can be developed and delivered. And IBS has a direct impact on your overall health, your menstrual cycle, and your fertility. So how does IBS affect periods? IBS is a condition that affects how you digest your food. And it follows that how well you digest your food affects how well you assimilate the nutrients that are in that food. This means that the health of every cell in your body is impacted by your digestion. Another way that IBS affects you is that IBS involves inflammation. And inflammation is the underlying factor in most health conditions. If inflammation is being triggered in your digestive tract, then it is likely affecting other parts of your body, including your uterus and your period. Now, a healthy and regular period is a sign from your body that everything is functioning well and that all systems are go and ready for a pregnancy. IBS may lead your body to determine that all systems are not go and therefore lead to changes in your menstrual cycle. Can IBS delay or stop your period? As we just discussed, IBS can trigger inflammation and impact your ability to extract nutrients from your food. Keeping this in mind and knowing that your period is a direct reflection of the health of your overall body, it's not difficult to understand how your period may be delayed or even stopped. For example, it's well understood that women who exercise a great deal or push their bodies to the limit may have irregular periods or may stop experiencing their period temporarily. Now, their nutrient requirements are so high for their activity level that their body recognizes that it's not ready to carry a pregnancy. Same type of reaction can happen less intentionally or in the case of when your digestion is so poor that it's generating inflammation and is not providing adequate nutrients. And this should not be confused with your weight because you don't have to be underweight to be undernourished. Now, of course, this will affect your fertility and your ability to get pregnant because if you don't have a period, then you aren't ovulating. In cases like this, when IBS is solved, women often notice that their period becomes much more regular and much healthier. Can IBS feel like ovarian or pelvic pain? Well, people often think that the location of abdominal pain can point directly to the underlying organ where the pain is coming from, right? However, this is really super challenging in practice because the organs inside the abdomen are all squish together and significantly overlap each other. So abdominal pain associated with IBS can be anywhere in the abdomen. It can be high, it can be low, it can be central, or it can be on either side on the left or right. And this happens because the intestinal tract is super long. It's 27 feet long and it winds all over the abdomen. So the location of IBS pain can be anywhere. For this reason, IBS pain can feel like ovarian pain. And ovarian pain might be misdiagnosed as IBS pain. The same is true for pelvic pain, which although it's very low in the abdomen, can also be IBS pain. So there are many other causes of pain that we're not gonna cover. This is not a conclusive talk about abdominal pain, but once other causes of pain are ruled out, you are often left with IBS pain. Now, IBS can also contribute to PMS, and this can be due to either cramping or inflammation, either of which can be a part of IBS, and the reverse can also occur. So when you have your period, your uterus is contracting, right? And this pain may trigger IBS pain in that nearby intestinal tract. Now, many women report that their IBS pain is related to their period, but remember, that there's likely another reason that your intestinal tract is susceptible to this happening. 
and that it is not likely that your period is the sole cause of your IBS pain. Because if it were, then every woman would have IBS when they have their period. And of course, that's not the case. So there are two major ways in which IBS can affect your period and your fertility. One is the digestion absorption of nutrients. And if this is not optimal, then you are less likely to have a regular period or ovulation. And the other is with regard to inflammation. If you have a significant amount of abdominal pain or inflammation as part of your IBS, then you may not have regular periods. In either case, your body may be telling you that it is not ready to carry a healthy pregnancy. IBS can continue to affect your health in other ways during your pregnancy and even later in life, so during menopause even. So it's important to figure out if you have IBS. And fortunately, there is good news for IBS sufferers because IBS is readily treatable if you work with an IBS specialist. And don't confuse that with a gastroenterologist. They are specialists in other areas. But there are people who are just specialists in IBS. Once you solve your IBS, your periods are much more likely to return to normal. This, of course, means that IBS can affect your fertility because once your period is regular, then you are more likely to become pregnant. Is IBS affecting your period or your fertility?